Hello everyone, hope you're all doing good. Today I'll tell you about what is ATIS. Hope you'll find it interesting and get to know something new. So without further delay, let's get started. So what is ATIS? ATIS is Automatic Terminal Information Service and it is a continuous broadcast of uh, recorded aer aeronautical information in busy airport. ATIS broadcasts contain essential information such as weather information, active runways, available approaches, no TAM and any other information required by the pilot. Pilot listens to the ATIS broadcast information before contacting the local air traffic controller in order to reduce the controller's workload and to prepare for the flight. Now let's hear an audio sample to get to know what ATIS sounds like in real world. Frankfurt information Mike. Net report time 1220. Expect ILS approach runway 25 right or 25 left. Runway in use 25 right and 25 left and 18. Attention. Flock off birds in B in the vicinity of the airport. Transition level 70. Wind 320 degrees 10 knots. Wind runway 18330 degrees 6 knots maximum 10 knots variable between 250 and 030 degrees. Visibility 10 kilometers. Showers in the vicinity. Scattered 3600 feet. Broken 6000 feet. Temperature 18. 2.10. QNH 1013 or 29.91 Information Mike out So as you have heard, now let me explain further about this ATIS. The ATIS at an airport is usually given by an automated or recorded voice on a specific VHF frequency or via the vocal channel of the radio navigation beacon. Whenever the ATIS is provided the preparation and dissemination of the ATIS message shall be the responsibility of the tower controller or the aerodrome flight information controller. The ATIS recording is updated at a fixed interval or when there is a significant change in the information. For example, let's suppose the ATIS is recorded at 12 Zulu. So the next ATIS may be after an interval of 30 minutes, it will be again recorded with a new information at 1230. Zulu. Each ATIS is designated with an alphabetic letter. For example, the ATIS at 1200 Zulu may be designated with the letter Alpha and the next ATIS at 1230 Zulu may be designated by the letter Bravo. Now let's suppose after 1230 Zulu there is a change in the weather or there is a change in the runway. Anything can happen. So the ATIS will be updated again now with a different alphabet Charlie. The pilots shall indicate that he has the information and the ATIS identification letter to let the controller know that the pilot is up to date with the current information. Now in most of the airports the same ATIS format or layout is used. In very complex airports it is possible to have two ATIS frequency one for arrival and another for departure. The ATIS transmission can be received in a large zone 60 nautical miles maximum and 25,000 feet maximum and the ATIS is unique to each airfield. Now let us look at what the ATIS message elements are. The ATIS message elements generally consist of the name of the aerodrome, the arrival and the departure indicator, contact type if the communication is via D-ATIS, the designator, type of observation if appropriate, type of approach to be expected, the runway news, significant runway surface condition and if appropriate braking action, holding delay if appropriate, transition level if applicable, surface wind direction and speed including significant variation, visibility and when applicable RVR, present weather, cloud below 1500 meters or below the highest minimum sector altitude, whichever is greater, air temperature, dew point temperature, altimeter setting, any available information on significant meteorological phenomena, wind shear, information on recent weather of operational significance, trend forecast, specific ATIS instructions or essential operational information. Now 
let us hear the audio extract of the ATIS that we have heard before and let me break that audio extract into parts and explain things to you in further details. Frankfurt information Mike. Here the name of the airport is said which is Frankfurt and also the ATIS designator alphabet which is Mike. Met report time 1220. Now the time is mentioned which is 12200. Expect ILS approach runway 25 right or 25 left. Here the type of approach is mentioned which is ILS runway 25 left and 25 right. Runway in view is 25 right and 25 left and 18. Now all the runways in use at Frankfurt is said. Attention. Flock off birds and be in the vicinity of the airport. The hazard is mentioned now. Transition level 70. Now the transition level is mentioned, which is flight level 70. Wind 320 degrees 10 knots. Here the average wind is mentioned along with the direction. Wind runway 18330 degrees 6 knots. Maximum 10 knots. Variable between 250 and 030 degrees. Now the wind for runway 18 is mentioned specifically visibility 10 kilometers here the visibility is reported as 10 kilometers showers in the vicinity it is also mentioned that there is shower in the vicinity scattered 3600 feet broken 6000 feet now the cloud information is given the layers of cloud at different altitude is mentioned specifically Temperature 1 8. This is the temperature which is mentioned. Dew point 1 0. Now the dew point is mentioned. QNH 1 0 1 3 or 2 9 at decimal 9 at 1. Here the local QNH is mentioned in hectopascal and in inches of mercury. No sig. Here it is said no sig. That means there will be no significant change for the next two hours. Information Mike. Now it is again mentioned that this entire information is designated by the alphabetic letter Mike. Now let's have a look how ATIS works on IWOW. With the current network limitation, the IWOW network is adapted to ATIS information available for pilots. Each air traffic controller has his own ATIS. ATIS is written in text module by air traffic controllers in a predefined format. Pilots can only read ATIS information in text mode when tuning the ATIS frequency or sending the appropriate commands to the server with a specific command. Now let us look at the example. This is an example of how the ATIS looks on IWAP which is the pilot client. The elements which are there in this ATIS is the IWAP voice server which is denoted by eu1.ts.ivo.aero, the channel in the voice server, the literal name of the ATC position for example here it's NIS approach, letter designator which is hotel, time of ATIS creation 1618 Zulu, the METAR which is here, landing runway, the takeoff runway, transition level, transition altitude and additional remarks for example here it is ILS04 left approach is in use as you can see here on the left hand side on the, of the page. So this is about ATIS in a nutshell. I hope you have liked the video. If you like the video smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel to get regular updates and also comment to let me know if this video was helpful for you. Thank you very much for watching. See you all very soon.